And this image says it all. A bullet comes just inches away from striking an innocent driver in the head. The victim, a security guard on his way to work. And new at 5 o'clock, 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina tracked down the victim's father. And Steve, he thinks his son was randomly targeted, but the shooter is still out there. No question about it. The shooter has not been found. I shook my head when I saw how close this was. It was down here on the 805, maybe a mile back there, when the shooting began just before midnight. This large caliber bullet is sticking out the door post on the driver's side of Josh Grayson's Dodge Stratus. Two inches to the left, it could have been a headshot. Wow, it's devastating to, you know, me and my wife. Clifford Grayson knows how close a call it was. His son was on his way to work driving northbound on I-805 near City Heights. He was wearing his security guard uniform. Carl pulled up beside him and uh, started shooting. His son took a quick ride onto the I-15 merge while the shooter kept going on the 805. Survival instincts kicked in uh, while he's driving. You know, hey, somebody's shooting at me. He said he kind of dug down a little bit and kind of, you know, focus on, you know, getting his car off the freeway without wrecking it, you know, at the same time, you know, trying to dodge the bullets. The younger Grayson wasn't injured, but he was shaken up. Earlier this month, there was another car-to-car -car shooting where a man in uniform was fired upon. That was on Highway 125 in Spring Valley. A TSA agent was the target that morning. No bullets were found and no arrests made. No arrests this time either, and no bloodshed. Again, I, I thank God, you know, Kobe should have, could have been waking up to, hey, your son's dead, you know, but uh, he's alive. And the CHP is conducting the investigation. Live in City Heights, Steve Fiorino.